I mean, she is a gnome after all. It would be rather embarrassing for you to lose a drinking contest to a gnome. It would be, yes. I'll give it to you on one condition. <laughs> what would that be? You never shoot me in the neck again. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I will never... Nishkar, have you been shooting people in the necks? <laughs> Not on purpose. <laughs> I was shooting so at says, something else. So I, your long, hard, sideways look. I'm sorry about him. He's never really got the neck of the bow until he was fairly old. And to be fair, I am not any good with bow anyway, so I am not much of a person to instruct him. So I'm afraid he had to find his own way. For what it's worth, I promise you, Aramil, I will never try to shoot you in the neck. <laughs> so, um... Okay. Do you have any more embarrassing stories about Melfast? Please, no. She has a lot. I don't she really... She sits down on the sofa next to you, pours herself... Um, oh, I'm so wet. Tell me more. Some drink from one of the unidentified Her, spirit bottles. And perhaps sips, says, after we've further discussed the matter at hand. Right. I think this uh, is a fantastic way, suggestion. Okay. Wolf Slay, you the, are the, the voice of reason of this party. The pendant is still glowing, so yeah. There, is there any, is that, yeah. there's dead things nearby. Yeah. There, there are more dead things than the three you killed. How many? You said these things come out at night to attack the town. How many attack the town? The town is eerily quiet, so... At least for any town I've been in. I mean, it's no Vitona, but still. Well, there is now actually a curfew in effect, and not many people are out at night, um, so that does that help sense. somewhat. Um, there are, as far as I can tell, quite a few around here. I have not bothered to check. Like I said, I only got here yesterday, and I plan to leave tomorrow. I wish I could help, um, but we have certain rules about high-powered mages being able to do stuff in relatively unmagical areas. You know, it is how a lot of these mage overlords get started. They do one thing, they do another, they get carried away with the power, they take over, and then you get you know, the Atasha Plutocracy or something like that. At this point, I kind of turning away and clearly speaking under my breath, kind of just murmur a name that I clearly don't intend for anyone to really hear. Just a reflex. She gives you a long, sideways, dirty look. <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> that was almost a 20. <laughs> I was 15. You know he said something. You yeah. didn't quite catch the name, but you also caught how Dvoshka looked at him afterwards. Did Aramil wrote that? The 19 just now? For perception? Uh, no, that was the previous roll. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was... Scarlet, you are really, really intrigued about any stories <laughs> that could be told. <laughs> <laughs> Aramil, no. you didn't quite catch that. Sorry. You, you thought Mel said something, but you, you're like... Oh, okay, no. Um, make now, I still, have, I still have Speak With Animals on. Can I understand Melfa's extra strong now? Because he's, you know, an animal. Are you trying to... <laughs> Sorry. I th <laughs> Melfa's, I, I think Aramil's flirting with you. <laughs> no. I think I prefer to when he's flirting with you, honestly. You're not my type. I'm sorry, Aramil. I just... The, the ears and... The lack of horns. Thank you for the eggs. Um, oh, I, was, you. I was wondering what he was going to say there. And then, and then the words just disappear. And ah. it's back to normal badger sound. Aww. Talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in touch. <laughs> but like I said, I, I'm not allowed to intervene. Probably shouldn't have helped you there either. Let's just Directly. keep that as a secret between us, yes? You don't have to ask me. As far as I can tell, all those ghouls died by uh, axe and other weapon, physical weapons. I, I didn't see any magic involved. Say, um, e -E, chat, my chat's wondering, did you not notice my plus five? Because I actually did roll better than Wolf Slayer did. And I, oh. I 
Oh, yes. I was There's wondering that. about that because oh. the way you said it, really, I, I yeah. didn't catch that. 17. Yeah, okay, 17. yeah, you caught that, uh, you know, Meltzer said something and uh, a dirty look was given, uh, just as just as Wolfstein did, but you didn't catch what the word actually was. It was short. Yeah. You're sure it was maybe one or two words. It couldn't have been anything more than that. Sorry, I didn't see the plus five. It was probably dear old dad. We gotta, we gotta I capture the I dice. I don't actually roll say that. Right. Chat window, set of the dice. Anyway, if so, are we gonna go out and kill some more of these undead-looking weird things that I can't identify, or do we want to rest? What do you guys want to do tonight? Well, I would not do... recommend you go out and try and take them all on. They are, a, yeah, a lot more than uh, we killed. Um, although that said, you did very well. I am fairly impressed. I must hand it to you, uh, Wolfslayer, was it? You might want to make her make a perception check. I am still bleeding, just so we're clear. <laughs> um. Oh, sorry, I did not see that. Uh, and what are you drinking, by the way? Did you pick any drink off the, the table? I don't say anything because that would be horribly rude. I'm just saying you might yeah. want to have her make a perception roll. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot that you got, you got in. That would be horribly rude if you didn't say anything. It could easily be missed when she was cleaning the icor off you and just didn't notice well, until that's... till now your blood has started to seep See, back out. Yeah, a little so and, much blood. You know, no, sorry, uh, darling, you were still bleeding. I, I did not notice. Cloth, you know? uh, 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 what are you drinking? Well, now that other people have imbibed different things and we seem to be relaxing and she does seem to be a bit trustworthy, then I'll... I'll um, what time of day is it? Uh, it's late, sort of towards midnight. We never decided what the um, Goliath brewed. Oh, um, like what it's called, I mean. It has a name in Goliath. Well, whatever it is, I ask if she's, if she's got any of that. Otherwise, I'll take whatever. Uh, Whatever the strongest is. A, a I am sorry, I, I do not think I have any. I do not have totally my liquor cabinet here, I'm sure you can appreciate. But if you, if you want uh, some of the strongest stuff, and she pulls one of the, the spirits off the table that uh, Scarlet has been unknowingly drinking, um, she goes, oh, this vodka should do you just fine. Well, she hasn't even noticed that that's what she's drinking. <laughs> Can't be very strong. No, I'll, I'll uh, Scarlet thank makes her. And I'll <laughs> I knew that was coming. Up. The moment we did that, ah, I brought okay. up. Okay, and as you go to drink, thank she goes, timely. and if if you add this, and she takes out a small bluish um, bottle, pulls it in, Seven. and says, drink that, then you will be fine. The world is going slightly squiffy. Squiffy. I like this world. I, a little bit I'm too. giving her this skeptical look of. It's fine. Are you sure you can't I'll, rustle I'll, up something a little more potent? She, I glance she at Melphis and then I'll I'll down it. Oh, well. Okay, as you down it, you feel warmth sort of fill you, and your wounds close. And then oh, she waves her hand. Good. Ball comes off. Waves her hand again. Oh. Your furs re knit. Fibers pulling together. Then I look at her and give her a sincere thank you. That's it is okay. Do not worry about it. I just no, want well, to be if... clear. Can still drink male fast under a table. <laughs> quite, quite. So, who possibly. got the pendant, by the way? Give it to male fast. Okay. okay. Uh, you will need to attune to that. Okay. Which means you need to spend an hour bonding to it. You can only be attuned to three items at once. Aww. So this is like a pet now. Oh my lord. Okay. What is the amulet called? Louise? Uh, the Pendant of the Undead Tavern. That's such a weird item. Hey, um, <gasps> is, uh, just, this is a, a mechanics question. When I wild shape into a shape, what type of action is it to unshift? I believe it's a Bonus? I think it's a bonus. I think it's an action to shift and a bonus to unshift or something like that, but then your action is now a bonus because you've gone for the moon. Uh, I'm going to call right. it a bonus to like, check it uh, Yeah, the question in chat is like, can I, can I be in a shape 
and then in the same turn turn it into another shape. And I don't think yes. I can. I think can? you can, because you can bonus change, and then you can action change, and you can choose to use an but, action instead of a bonus. But I lose the, the actual attack then. Yeah. I actually can't yeah. actually yeah. act on it that turn. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. People are just um, saying that druids are OP, that's all. <clears throat> Sorry. They're pretty good, but as soon as anyone sees a druid shift out of a form because they've been damaged, everyone will go, oh, he's vulnerable. Stab, stab, stab. That's, that's the downside of druids. How long can they keep a, a form downside. for? Um? How long can they keep a form for? Uh, it's determined by their druid level divided oh. by two or something. That's yeah, it's like, a half, it's like a half hour or an hour for me I think right it's now. an hour for you at the moment. Yeah, I'm a little two divided by half. Um, right, so, uh, you know, Dvasha turns to you and goes, uh, if you want to sleep here tonight, feel free. I'm currently renting the house. Uh, I have to go back and work on my uh, businesses. I wasn't going to ask, but thank you very much. Uh, do not worry about it. It's not as if I'm using all the floor space, the couches, or the second bedroom. <laughs> Okay, well, at that point, I'm just kind of just yeah. Same on the so, Shall we, shall we call it a night? Then we can have. Did we decide into this? What's their? Uh, did, did we decide that what's their sleeps or meditates? I can't. their sleeps. Uh, you can choose to meditate. Yes. I'll, I'll meditate. I'll I'll keep watch for a while if we're going to actually put somebody yep. up. I know we're in a room, but okay. I'll meditate. Um. As you all, you know, prepare to start going to sleep, mm -hmm. uh, Svochka says, do not worry about, uh, you know, posting a guard. You can sleep fully tonight. I will cast an alarm spell. If anyone tries to break in, there will be a fairly fa loud alarm. You will not be able to sleep through it. Uh, and also, I acquired this trinket while I was up here. I was going to sell it, um, but frankly, it is not particularly valuable, and maybe you could make more use of it than me. And she hands you a, a sort of pendant wristband uh, and on it is a round marked stone with lines running around it. And as you start following all the lines with your eyes, you notice that they all eventually come together at one point. Who is she handing it to? What does this what does it do? Okay. It is uh, a pendant of locating. Um, anytime you want to know where it is, you just have to think about it. You just need to be attuned to it and you will know where it is. Hmm. Okay. Can we put it on any of his arrows? So that I could... <laughs> that, I, I suppose you could, yes. I don't think <laughs> the arrow would fly. I suspect Sorry. that having a pendant attached to one of my arrows would dramatically increase the chance of it veering off course and into, I don't know, someone's neck. Speaking as GM, I will say that would be disadvantage. <laughs> Unless you specially made the arrow to have the pendant like perfectly at the center of balance on the arrow or something. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Are you sure about this, though? I mean, we've that already imposed on you so much. I picked this up here when I came past to do the job. Um, it is not particularly valuable. Uh, you know, I have plenty of stock at my store anyway. Okay. Um, are you going back to your store after this? Yes, I should probably pop back. I've been away for you know, almost a day now. Okay. We are quickly expanding our venues, many more places. These Emporium, come to check us out at, at all the many places. And she hands you a leaflet. Um, which is a bit of parchment with names written on it. And she says, every time we open a new store, it will magically update. You do not need to worry. Do we get a friends and family discount? <laughs> I can I, scans at Scarlet at that. <laughs> hey, we're friends! You check at advantage. <laughs> <laughs> um, persuasion. Spending off my family? Oh, my lord. Natural 20 plus one. <sighs> I like you. You are a cheeky one, yes. Uh, fine. Melthas, your friends and you can all have, let us say, 15% discount of list price. That will mean that sometimes I can make a loss of the items, but, you know, I think you, you are worth it. Cheers. Just make sure you keep him safe, because if you do not keep him safe and something happens to my little Mishka, I will kill you. <laughs> I yeah, yes, ma'am. I, I laugh out loud at that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. She chuckles and uh, she says, okay, I'm going to bed. Uh, there's bedroom upstairs. There is the sofas down here. Uh, if you really want to, there is um, floor space. And she waves her hand and pulls a 
a mattress out of thin air, place it on the ground. I thank her heartily, again, for her hospitality. That is not worry about it. I will make you breakfast in the morning, and then I will have to be off. Uh, good night, everybody. We have plenty of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I, I kind of like seem a little bit unsure because everyone else is there, but uh, I get up off the off the couch and go and give her a hug before going back. Kind of glaring at them, challenging them to make comment on it. Oh, she hugs you back. And Dar uh, says, Dar, it's good to see you again, Mishkar. It's been too long. It's good to see you too. Okay. And I will be off. Uh, sleep tight. And she walks off upstairs. Officially, if any of you start calling me Mishka, sleep with one eye open. I don't sleep. Oh, I hate <laughs> I, just, I, hate I look at so him and offhandedly say, you should hear what my family calls me. <laughs> and then I go wherever it is that I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I, I head for one of the couches. I check on Gwen and uh, probably swipe some of the meat off the, off the table and feed it to her and then curl up. She, she very gratefully <clears throat> scouts it down. My fat is not Gollum. I'm just going to put this out there now. This the badger looks up the ferret and goes... <laughs> <laughs> I just go over and pet Squishy and just lie down where I am because world's spinning and had a bit too much to drink and must sleep now. <laughs> uh, Wolf Slayer, make constitution check. Okay. Um, am I still raging? No. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, four. 16. You're fine. You're used to stronger spirits. Um, you will go to sleep. You're briefly woken by a scream in the distance. But uh, other than that, you sleep without incident or meditate. Um, you will awake in the morning okay. and you notice the, the smell permeating the house of cooked meat, um, fried eggs, and some spices. Okay. In the, when we all settled down, would I have been able to spend an hour attuning to the pendant of the undead tavern? Sure. Yeah. Uh, so who's got the pendant of, you've got the pendant of locating, right? Yeah. Uh, do you want to attune to that as well? So, would that mean that I could just think of wherever it is, and then yeah. I would know where it was? Yeah, you'd know the exact direction to it, and a vague distance. So, okay. If you have no use for it right now, Malfus, just as an idea, we've got this giant badger that uh, might run off at any moment if I don't talk to it. Yeah, sure. Would you um, maybe want to see if maybe we could talk to it and see if it wouldn't mind wearing a collar? Yeah, sure. If it, if it's happy to wear it, I don't mind. So I'll have the tune to that as well. I just I'll give it to uh, Aramil to talk so to the badger and ask about it. It's early in the morning, so I'll just I'll just uh, you know do my we druidic. We last night before you go to sleep if you want. That way you'll you'll get your spells back if you choose to. Yes. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's true. So I'll have a I'll have my little conversation with with Squishy the giant badger. So, oh, hey, Squishy. Oh. Hey again. How you How are you doing? Looks so nice. Thank you for the eggs. Have you, have you have you had enough? Do you need more? There are more eggs. With us, there will always be more eggs. Oh. He brushes up against the side of your leg. <laughs> we so, might have um, trouble finding some in the uh, <laughs> in this city, but I was wondering if you wouldn't mind wearing this. This will help us to make sure we can always get you the eggs that you want. Make uh, animal handling at advantage. Best sly one. Animal handling. <laughs> I have so many plus five modifiers. Jeez. Uh, so. That would be X. a 24. X. X. And he, he, he sort of Lowers his body down to the ground, raises his neck so you can put it round. Okay. 
I'll just there we go. Um, put a little note saying it's on squishy. Now you'll you'll forget about this. Don't worry, it won't bother you. Just leave it alone, okay? Okay. So you now have this sort of tiger-sized badger with a little pendant around its neck. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's like it's not like a cheap little like string chain or something, right? It's not going to just break off. Uh, the chain itself can unfold to make it longer, so you can fit it around its neck. Okay. And it's a chain. Uh, it's like barbed wire. Does it look awesome? Do it have skulls on it? <laughs> no skulls. <laughs> what are you trying to do to the group's badger? I just think it'd look cool, more fearsome, with chain link coolness. If you so want to commission some from a blacksmith, <laughs> you can buy would, barding, but you can make for any animal. I don't have any... Uh, I don't have any money because it all fell on the ground. I don't know where it went. Yeah, that, that costs a lot of money. Um, right, so you sleep, you wake up the next day, okay. and there's a lovely smell coming from the kitchen. And the house is on fire. Unless that's the fireplace. <laughs> the fireplace is still on fire. It is, it is getting down. It's like the embers left. Well, we should... Mmm, breakfast. After we've eaten, consider what we're going to do. Seems that everywhere we're going at the moment, there's some sort of undead menace happening. I mean, we shouldn't just walk out it. before Dvoshka has prepared breakfast, but... Uh, well, that, that would be somewhat, uh, you know, not particularly grateful of you to do that, so I appreciate you not doing that. Although, I do remember someone walking out for quite a long time, Mishkar. She places stuff down on the table. She gets out some plates, and there's there's like a big stack of bacon. There's some boiled eggs, some fried eggs. There's like this brown toast. There's white toast. There's a big slab of like butter. I tuck in. So yeah, um, <laughs> over over breakfast conversation. I I have to ask. So she seems to have traveled far and wide. I heard in the south there is a type of fruit called a banana. Have you uh, seen this banana? I'm just looking at what's banana. Banana. So yes, curious. I have. I've seen many bananas. Then they they're are true. Strange. Yes, they have a vaguely squishy texture and they taste vaguely like they taste like the badger no no no, no. they feel like of... the badger. well they, i guess a bit a bit like vanilla if you know what the vanilla tastes like i hope someday i find a bar nana -na. that well i wish you many uh you know, many <laughs> many good lucks with your attempt to find the banana I am literally surrounded by crazy people. <laughs> I'm I sort of nursing a, a headache at this point, and I'm just taking a glance at Melfast like, you're one to talk. <laughs> <laughs> How's your headache, Scarlet? I could still out drink you. <sighs> Not anymore, tapping my pen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Which need is cheese. no longer glowing. <sighs> okay, well, that's, that's pretty good. Um, Voshka, you said I've that... I've made my entire chat want vanilla banana milkshakes. You mentioned that the undead leave the town come sun up towards the north or northeast, from what uh, you could tell. Seems to be the case. Okay. And do you happen to know if maybe there's, I don't know, a bounty or a reward for... Industrious people who might solve an undead problem for the town. Well, the town mayor is keen to not have this be too high profile. Otherwise, you know, the trade reputation, the reputation for being able to come here and safely store your wares might be somewhat affected. So he is somewhat not keen to get the uh, watch involved from 
uh, Rivertown. They do not have a particularly large watch here because they're so close to Rivertown. If there are any threats, Rivertown kind of can solve all their problems. But if that would be to find out, then Port Town would probably lose face and people would move their trading stores into Rivertown, which, although somewhat more expensive, is actually closer to a lot of the trading around there. So that is currently something that I would imagine the mayor would be very grateful for if you could solve the problem for him. So there might be a bonus if we handle it quietly as well as handling it. I imagine the entire monies would be probably contingent upon that, yes. Hmm. I look towards there. Not the quiet type, usually. I am over breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Beanie. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Bacon. <laughs> Looking around to see if anyone else is going to say anything, or I just get back to eat him and say, right, well, thank you. I'll, we'll probably head out and see if we can track down the mayor as soon as we're done with breakfast. Yeah, I was going to say, as soon as we're done for breakfast, then, yeah, I have things to say. But, <laughs> um, yes, if there are things to hit and money to be made, we should do those things. Why are you talking like that, Wolfsley? Because it's fun to mess with your head. <laughs> I've got nothing witty to say in response to this. Anyway, I will have to be off now. Um, and she, she re returns from a side room wearing a traveling coke. Uh, do visit me whenever you get the chance. And uh, good luck with your quarry. It was lovely to meet you. You owe me stories about Melfast. No, no, you don't. <laughs> no. You really don't. It, it's, it's not owed. No, no, Melfas, I would never do that to you. And then she turns to Scarlet and says, we'll have to have tea sometime, dear. I just give a wink. <laughs> she grins. I checked the, um, the pamphlet sort of thing that she handed out. Are there any places other than Vitona on there at the moment? Uh, there's Vitona, there is Rivertone. They're basically the capitals of pretty much every city is listed there, except for a couple of smaller ones. Okay, so all capitals then. The one that's in uh, Rivertone, however, is listed as uh, in progress. It is listed as, um, you know, a temporary store that is going to be improved or refurbished. Okay. All right. Is anyone else going to say anything? Uh, we might want to bring some of these eggs. Uh, the badger can't understand me right now, but... <laughs> Okay. Um, He's going to want more eggs, just so you know. I promised him a lot of eggs with that collar on him. You may as well he's bring looking meat like, for the He's looking very one. much at the pile of meat and the pile of eggs, sort of sitting there going. Yeah. <laughs> this, is a high ma this is a high maintenance pet you've picked up. <laughs> it's a Grips pet. Come on. <laughs> I've already got a pet. I don't need up again. It's her problem. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, thank you very much, Zawashka. I will definitely come to see you at some point. Soon. Some point soon. That is excellent. I may or uh, may not bring the gnome, though. Darmelfas, Mishka, dear, play fair. You yeah. owe me the ability to talk to her about your more recent endeavors, yes? Yes, come on, Mishka. <laughs> Tail. Flailing wildly at this point. <laughs> Jump out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I will be off. I will talk to you all hopefully very soon. Okay. And uh, she opens the door, closes it, and walks away. Okay. All right. Well, fun and games are over. Once you're all, you've all eaten your fill, and I don't know. Aramil is carrying a giant sack of meat and eggs because he's promised so much to the badger. Shall we head off and find this mayor or just have a look around the town? Well, it seems to, the, you know, Squishy seems to have bonded with everyone, yes, but it's, it's mostly Scarlet's, like, badger, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who, promised this? Who promised the badger the eggs and the meat? I did, but I don't want to have to carry it all. I mean, <laughs> I if I transform, it'll eggs. fall on the floor. <laughs> that is a good point. I can't fit all these eggs in my in my cache, my my stomach. I, I still 
don't want to know about the cash. Yeah, I so think are Harry's we, mad. Are we on our way out? We need it to bond with yeah. you because I'm going to turn into another animal someday and I won't be able to talk to it. and It'll get confused by me. If I turn uh, into a dire wolf. The table. Hmm? Currently sitting around a table. Yeah, we're okay. next. We should, we should finish up here and head out. I'm ready to go. We should decide where we're going, though, first. Do you think we should go and try and find a mayor or at least an official to talk about this? Or are we going to get involved? I mean, I'm guessing since it's undead that a certain someone is going to feverishly demand that we slay everything. I'm team talking to the mayor because if we're going to do this, I at least want money for it. That's true. I just want money whether we do it or not, but... That's fair. Aramo? Thoughts? I, I've never... I'm, I'm, nev I'm not concerned, really, about money. I'm, I'm never going to be. Money's That's never fine. been a I'll challenge have your share. for me. I'm very concerned. I can be concerned about money for both of us. But at the, at the very least, the mayor should have more information. Yeah. I'm all for killing the, the undead okay, demons then. that are plaguing this town. That's how Whether I'm... it's for money or not, I'm, I'm not concerned about that. We can discuss how the money gets split up between the group later on. Shall we all go? Aye. All right. Okay. You walk outside, and you walk into a street. What's and? <laughs> are the corpses still there? Because <laughs> we uh, didn't check them for loot. Didn't check them for loot. No. Uh, there is one... It, well, it's corpse, but there's bits of it, and it's splattered over the cobblestones, and there's currently someone with, like, a dustpan and brush trying to get the bits. There's a hobbit, sort of an elderly lady, trying to get the bits into a dustpan and brush. Crazy weather last night, wasn't it? Raining men all over the place. <laughs> she gives you a sideways glance and gets back to work. Um... I don't think we're going to be finding any loot. How busy is the town now, actually? That's a good point. Um, there are, it's, it's, it's busy. It's a town, but it's not as busy as you'd expect from something this size with this much trade reputation. Okay. But there are, you know, there are people running around doing their work, maybe a little bit more hurriedly than you normally expect. Okay. Um, people popping into shops, people haggling about the price of fish or whatever it is. Looking around, would I be able to make out a building that looks like a kind of town hall? Uh, yes, you can see a, a higher building. The building you just came out from is one of the few buildings that actually have multiple stories in this, uh, this area. Okay. And it's not a warehouse. And you notice that further on down the road, it actually opens up into a plaza. And in the middle of the plaza, there is a building which looks like the central building and could be probably quite often, you know, obviously the town hall. Alright. Shall we head over there? Or did you want to uh, ask for any witnesses on what happened to the bodies, Bosley? How do I erase something somebody drew? Um, I'll do it. No, I'll Thank you. <laughs> ah, jumping out of the way of the car. Crazy old well. drivers, they, they own the streets. <laughs> Snack break. Yeah. Four o'clock. That would be a good time. Snack to break done. Snack break. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. Well, uh, our adventure adventures. <laughs> Leave the house of Vorska and head off to find payment for a a job. Okay. We'll be back to you after this short break. Uh, use a break to go to the toilet, get food, get drinks, and whatever. And then we'll be coffee. back. Get tea. Coffee. <laughs> tea. Cider. Um, but stay tuned for then, and we'll be back in about eight, ten minutes. I don't. Okay. See you soon. Bye.